the Alpine strategy um, has been sort of coming into effect over the last number of years, um, which has been um, to supply us with equipment that is more suited for our purpose. So our pumper, um, as far as the layout of the back goes, would be familiar to most people, except it's a Printeth T6, so it's, it's a, an over-snow vehicle on tracks. Um, because we can't get into the resort with any wheeled vehicles, it's, it's just not possible. So we need tracked vehicles enabled to do that. Uh, and we've had that for three years now, a uh, very expensive piece of equipment that, uh, as you can see today, has worked out really quite well for us. We also have um, some Can-Ams, uh, two Can-Ams, one set up as a response vehicle, one as, a, as a, a, a crew transport vehicle. And we take the wheels off those and put four tracks instead of the wheels, and they can pretty much go anywhere and the benefit of those is that they're good on bitumen, dirt, snow, mud, they're really an all-terrain, not just for snow, they're an all-terrain vehicle. Um, we have a pumper tanker and a, and a uh, bushfire tanker. The pumper tanker is handy because we also have a commercial airport on our patch, the, the Mount Hotham Airport, um, that is our responsibility that we need to train and be able to respond to. So the pumper tanker is more appropriate for that. So it's a, it's a, a, a unique set of equipment that we use. And I think we're, we're, we're quite well served.